Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. I'm Jason and this is the 58C DAF Gerda truck. Added to the Matchbox range in 1968, it added a play factor with its 12 connectable red plastic girders that were found loaded on the back and added international factor with the Dutch built DAF cab. It was switched to superfast in 1970 and the base was elongated to cover the entire length of the model. It was then deleted in 1971. The model I have here is fairly grubby, quite scratched up and evidently missing those girders that sit on the back. The plastic details on the front all look quite good. I just need a bit of a clean up, it's fairly dirty, as does that windscreen. And the paintwork is looking fairly faded, although they did originally come in slightly off-white, but today I'll use some standard white just to give this a nice fresh look. All of the models came with a tinted blue windscreen that was originally riveted in, but this was later changed to a single post as the base holds the windscreen in. First up I remove the rivet holding the plastic base on, then remove the wheels from the chassis. The plastic base can then be removed. And here you can also see all of that dirt that's collected inside the cab area. A little bit of a shake and you can see it all move. I then can tap out the windscreen as that's held on over that post. These windscreens are incredibly hard to come by. I don't know of anyone that does any reproductions, so I'm having to hope that any I come across are in complete working order. After drilling out the post, I can tap the hole that's left. And here are the components that make up the model, excluding the girders. I will buff up those axles using my battery drill. Unfortunately, there's no footage of the caustic soda today, but here is the swilling of the remnants. See the paint flaking off a bit there. Now using a wire brush attached to my rotary tool, I'll buff up the base and get into all those nooks and crannies on this casting. Because the plastic base incorporated all of the details of the grill, the badge and the headlights, there were no details that were ever mask sprayed onto it, so it's a relatively straightforward casting. The truck is modelled on the DAF FA2600, which was produced between 1962 and 1974. The DAF company was founded in 1928 by Hubert van Dorn, and in 1932 the company operated under the name of Van Dorn's Anhangwagen Fabriek, which is Van Dorn's trailer factory in, uh, in English. Here you can see that the left hand rear post on the flatbed is slightly bent, so I'll need to straighten this out. And I'll do this by tapping my hammer against a screwdriver. Now I'm going to apply some of the Tamiya Fine Surface Primer in light grey onto the body of the model. The DAF company began production of lorries and luxury cars after World War II. And today the company has a net worth of $1.7 billion and is a division of Packard. The bed on the casting looks really nice with those defined straight lines. The front end and the doors and also the little fuel tank on the side all look really good. As I said earlier, the models came in an off-white colour, but to add purity to it, I used some Tamiya TS26 Pure White, just to make the model stand out that little bit more, make it look a little fresher and a little newer. But after one coat, it's gone on quite nicely. That's ready to dry. So in the meantime, while I'm letting that dry on, I can start cleaning up that grubby, muddy windscreen. There are a couple of marks on there that really needed some attention. Then the plastic grill, incorporating the headlights and the badge, that can all be cleaned up. And finally, the wheels will get a quick dip in the soapy water. The wheels can then be brushed up with some Citadel Gloss Null Oil to make them look lovely and new. Now I can go on to polishing the windscreen using some auto sole and a cotton bud. And then I can polish up that windscreen using some astonished wood floor polish and I can let that dry to make it really shine brightly. Later on I can tap the wheels back onto the dried base 
in goes the windscreen over that central post and with the wheels reattached I can reapply that plastic grill that can then be screwed in and finally some chrome paint from a chrome paint pen applied to the ends of the axles so this week I attempted to fix up another classic model missing its signature parts what is a girder truck without the girders it's also looking a little bit run down very scratched up paintwork and a bit dirty also with that bent post on the rear end there the wheels needed a bit of a clean up so did the axles and particularly that cab area where it was very dirty and muddy and somehow mud has got right on the inside of that I had to buy some replacement parts for this one the girders I bought from model-supplies.co.uk just to give it its identity back I did buy far too few of these unfortunately but some's better than none so you could say I've taken this from no load to half load an unfinished job well I'm quite pleased with the way it's come out anyway the front end with the registration can be very nicely defined again the wheels look really good with that polished up feel the back end has been straightened out with that rear post and obviously the girders are sitting there nice and proud I'm particularly pleased with the windscreen it's come out quite well there's a permanent mark on there which I could not get rid of but I think it looks really nice after going in for a quick polish and that natural blue is coming through anyway if you haven't already please check out my patreon page and join if you can uh, please like share and subscribe and I'll see you again for the next one bye for now